Uh, I'd like to thank Ranking Member DeLauro, Ranking Member uh, Bishop, and uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, I, too, rise today in opposition to this bill, which would advance draconian cuts uh, that slash basic support that so many American families rely on simply to make it through tough times. Uh, the restrictions and SNAP and WIC eligibility for millions of families uh, in this bill, including many low-income women and children that depend on these benefits. Let's just look at these numbers. As of June 2023, more than 42.3 million Americans use SNAP benefits to help put healthy food on their table. And 62% of those recipients have been families with children whose critical development depends on that. I come to Congress uh, prior to being uh, elected. I ran nonprofit organizations that helped our most at-risk students graduate from high school. The number one barrier to educational achievement was poverty. In my organization, which achieved a 92% graduation rate, the number one service that we provided to these children was food. I, we provided backpacks to get them through the weekend. And so to have a bill that is here in front of us that's cutting these resources for the very students, young people that we need, to me it's just we're, it doesn't make economic sense. When we're thinking about how we educate our students, and yet we are, we are slashing a basic resource that, you know, when kids are hungry, they cannot learn. And so uh, to me, I just, my mind is scrambling on what the necessity of making these drastic cuts. And just in my state alone, 42,000 residents will face food insecurity because of these cuts, uh, amounting to 6.8 million meals in one year that will be missed. Cutting these uh, benefits will do nothing but hurt people already going through tough times, parents who simply need to put food on the table for their hungry kids. But these programs aren't the only ones that are under attack. This bill also cuts $10 million from the Rural Water and Waste Disposal Program account at a time when the West is facing the most critical drought in 12 centuries. According to many of my colleagues across the aisle, this program is essential for water resources in rural America. So then why are we slashing this critical program, which Nevada and many of our states rely on to overcome drought and to make sure we provide access to clean water to our communities? So instead of protecting American families, this funding bill that would keep fruits, vegetables, and safe water out of reach for millions of vulnerable families. In the wealthiest country in the world, no American should go hungry or thirsty because of a lack of access to basic food and water. And I just implore all of us to think about, this isn't just about agriculture. When we think about the future of our country, when we talk about education in this country, you have to provide basic resources for children and families. And that's what this bill used to do, and it certainly doesn't do right now. And with that, I urge my colleagues to vote no. Thank you.